Welcome, welcome, and happy birthday! Happy birthday, Gemini's! I do love you guys. Happy birthday, my darling! It is the first week of June, Gemini's. Happy birthday! Okay, so Gemini's, if you were born on the thirty-first until the sixth of June, this is your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> All right. I'm so happy for you, Gemini's. Honestly, not that happy the last time. So, um, I am so happy for you guys. Let's see what's coming in your um zodiac energy. So, if you were born from the thirty first until the sixth, this is your birthday reading. Okay. Go check out your zodiac energy. What is coming up? Okay. All right, for the people who were born on the 31st of May, I see you're dealing with some sort of an ending, some sort of a transition, and ending that is happening. Okay, whatever that was transpiring, um, I see endings coming out for you guys. This is going to be good. Um, what? I oh no! Whatever the problem is and was, it is. Uh, I see a whole lot of endings is coming out for you guys. All right, so I see the two of ones is here. Uh, some sort of a transition is coming up, and you're going to be receiving some sort of an offer. Um, whatever this problem, whatever you were going through, um, some sort of an ending is coming to this, and a lot of you are going to be very, very happy. Um, that uh, end is here some of you were having a relationships problem some of you were having problems at the work floor some of you a whole lot of issues so you were so busy um, a whole lot of business was going on and it's going to be happening in this year a whole lot of doors of opportunity is going to be opening so that is going to be good the energy of debt when you have the energy of debt, is that something is leaving your life let go what it is do not hold on on this thing that you gotta let it go it is time for you to let it go and move forward Gemini so um, whoever you are you're dealing with 13 and um, 13 is 4 so it's as if your angels and guides is going to be coming in to release something so that you can get something much better Um, you are dealing with 13 4 2 and 7 okay then we have see something better is going to be coming in you have the energy of the palm tree now the energy of the palm tree it's about stability security peacefulness growth endurance and flexibility so um, this is really really positive the energy of the palm tree for you guys that means some uh, um, security um, stability and security is going to be coming in for a lot of you and I see enduring you're going to be enduring a situation okay um, you got over some sort of a problem that was transpiring now the tower moment is here and the energy of the tower moment has to do um, for the people who were born on the 1st of June the people who were born on the 1st of June a huge tower moment is coming down and this tower moment has to do with removing some sort of a blockage and it um, it is a situation where a lot of you are going to be regretting the tower moment that is coming in because this tower moment is going to be removing um, some sort of an emotional situation you were dealing with and you're going to be recognizing that a young person had created a whole lot of emotional problems and issue for you now it could be a situation that a, a child of some sort of an unconventional person created some sort of a problem and I see um, truths is going to be coming out because they're going to be recognizing um, uh, what this person have done you're dealing with a whole lot of emotional situation and you're dealing with young people you're dealing with news is going to be coming in and um, uh, a cancer who was creating a whole lot of problems and issue for you you're going to be receiving some sort of a news that this person has now leave your uh, um, your um, surface okay 
then we are looking and see what is the most um, positive thing is that unconditional love is coming up and this is going to be good and um, affection a whole lot of new love is going to be coming in if a lot of you are looking for relationship it's going to be a good year for relationship I see a huge tower moment that is coming down whatever that is happening and transpiring I end is coming down for a cancer and they are he's a young cancer and they're recognizing what this young cancer have done and I see people are going to be protecting a lot of you Gemini's because they have seen the unjust of this young cancer and I see a whole lot of love is going to be um, coming up in this year for a whole lot of you because they recognize that some sort of a relationship you were in was just so um, so much dishonesty in that relationship people are now recognizing that that relationship was not based on honesty and a lot of you had a whole lot of emotional situation dealing with someone in this relationship so I see an end an end to a relationship and to a marriage um, and I see this end needed to happen so some sort of a new start could come in I do love you all right um let's see the people you guys have the tower 16 7 uh, 4 and 1 16 7 4 and 1 all right let's look at the people who were born on the second of um, June and the second of June you're dealing with some problems you're dealing with some issues you're trying to get through some sort of a problems and issue and you're coming in feeling a whole lot of problems okay and it has to do with some of you wanted some sort of a new start but it's as if people are creating a whole lot of issues for you and I see some of you young people are standing your ground and letting people know it is time that you be, you know just move away um, and stop blocking me from whatever because obviously people who were born on the 2nd of June you have been dealing with a whole lot of issue and I see especially you young people are going to be using the sort of truth to get you and cut out everything that is happening and transpiring and take your power back you're going to be successfully getting through some sort of a hardship that you have been dealing with and it's going to be recognized that it's time for you um to move forward so whoever that was creating a whole lot of problem you were trying to get through the situation you wanted to move for forward but people was creating issues for you you are going to be standing your ground and it's going to be recognizing the undesirable play that people were doing and you're going to be taking back your power so it's a year of you guys taking back your power and I see your happiness is going to be returning joy playfulness oneness and everyone so this is good um, for you people that is born the second of June because you're you're taking back your life you're you're bringing back happiness in your world no matter what was happening and transpire it's about you bringing back happiness in your world and letting go of the rest so congratulation um, then I see the energy of people who were born the third, uh, the third of June. You're dealing with some sort of a balance. You're healing a problem, healing a situation, taking back um, happiness and joy, bringing back happiness and joy in your life, and taking back your own power now. This is about healing. This is a year of you healing, healing issues, healing problems, healing situations that was transpiring, healing your financial situation, making decisions. And by that, you are going to be healing your financial uh, status, and a whole lot of money is going to be coming in. So, congrats, congrats, congrats. Um, this is a year where you're going to be financial abundant. So if you were born on June 3rd, expect um, to have a whole lot of money coming in to you, whether you're winning the lottery or a new job or you're ending this year and you're going to be, if you create your home business, you're going to be making a lot of money, okay? So this is good. We have uh, um, the energy of uh, um, a balance that is 14, which is 5 changes is coming up with your financial status 
and this is going to be good number two and then you have the nine of Pentacles so this is going to be a very very promising here money is coming in and it is good but yet still you're going to be thinking is not enough <laughs> so it is just so funny you're gonna be having all of this money and you're still thinking yeah it's not enough so a lot of you have to make your choices but you know it is a, a year where you're going to be financial stable okay let's look at the people who were born on June 4th June 4th and you have judgment so this is a year it's as if this year you guys are cleaning up cleaning up cleaning up cleaning up and some sort of information is going to be coming in and it has to do with your partner and uh, um, it has to do with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and if you're in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person I see our end so a relationship could be coming in and you're going to be recognizing um, what this person have done it could be a relationship it could be a sister or a brother but you're going to be having a, um, a problem with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person um, and it's going to be judgment call coming down this person is a sister or a brother sister or brother or your partner um, huge problem is coming up for this person um, this 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 person you could have been in a relationship with this person and um, this person is now in some serious serious problem so whoever this person is I see whenever judgment call and this person is in reverse it can have to do with a whole other thing and um, that some sort of a decision it has to be made over this person whether or not you are going to be standing responsible for this person or whether they are going to be standing responsible for you I see a whole lot of you have been chasing after this person here you're going to be recognizing it's time that you end the chase this person is no longer interested in you it's time that you end the chase because whatever that was going on you don't need to be a part of this person life because this person is not on the correct um, part and you need to let go so two and two so dualities a lot of you partnership relationship marriages is as if you need to stop chasing after people and things if it's not what it is if it's not yours it's just not yours um, an end is coming in the chase is now over and you could be an investigator and you're going to be catching um, the story is very great Capricorn person is as if you have been chasing this person for a very long time investigating this person for a very long time jackpot you are catching this person so this is wonderful it is a wonderful situation and whoever this person is yeah a, a yama if it's your partner yama if it's a sister or a brother or a relative but whatever they have done it is it is as if the universe is saying look this person you don't need to be with this person let it go let it go you gotta let this go so it's duality number 22 it's gonna be a heavy heavy energy ladies and gentlemen when a number 22 comes up in a year that means it's very heavy another energy that is a clearing energy is uh, seeing the truth of a situation people who are born on the 5th of June you're finally 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 your eyes are finally going to be over it's as if this year is when you're going within and um, recognizing and finding out a lot of things that you are not aware of a lot of information is going to be coming in to you a lot of you wanted some sort of a new start and a lot of information is going to be coming into you that you are going to be blown out of the water you're going to be thinking what I wasn't aware of this are you crazy um, so I recognize uh, that a lot of you whatever is happening in this year is that you're going to be get, getting some sort of an information that you were not aware of whatever this information is it's like it's going to be blowing the top on something and you're going to be like I don't think so so truth is going to be revealed because you're going within to find out the truth of a situation okay it's going within to find out the truth of the situation and recognizing what a family member have done and how a family member has created some sort of a problem and no new start is going to be coming up for a cancer because they're going to be recognizing what a cancer have done you're going to be blown out of your water you're going to be thinking oh my god 
uh, it's a good thing I let go of this person or I disconnected with this person so I see um, information is going to be coming out and this information is coming out and you're going to be um, receiving some sort of information that a cancer is not going to be moving forward when you find out what this cancer have done I see a lot of you are going to be have to be ill in your heart so I see it's a year of ill in your hearts from heartbreak um, freeing yourself from a toxic relationship and recognizing a relationship was very addictive not only addictive but very toxic and you're going to be like releasing yourself from this so it's as if you recognize that um, it was time that you let go of a marriage a relationship because it was very toxic and it's as if you take the year to think how you're going to be doing it and then you're going to be just um, going for it 12 3 8 and 1 12 3 8 and 1 so um, let go of this toxic marriage relationship um, in this year because it's as if the universe is saying it is time all right the last and final energy is the uh, people who are born on the six number six the six love some of you could be getting married some of you are going to be getting some sort of a new contract yes some of you are going to be standing your ground and a new contract is going to be created and you are going to be having a wonderful wonderful start so you congratulations because this is going to be so wonderful so fantastic congratulations to a lot of you you have the energy of new love you could be getting married or you could be meeting your twin flame or soulmate in this year a lot of you are going to be married and a lot of you are going to be getting some sort of a, a contract uh, um, I, I some of you are going to be very surprised um, you're going to be getting a contract that you never know uh, that it could have been someone is going to be saying hey uh, we saw your work and we want you to come and work for us and that is going to be absolutely fab 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 darlings okay so new start um, you're moving out you have um two major major arcana and that is kind of weird um and uh, bam <laughs> oh my god so um a lot of you are going to be offered a new contract and this contract is going to be creating a lot of money bam 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 family financial stability <laughs> oh my god this is this beautiful so you Gemini's money is not going to be a problem money is not going to be a problem and let's say that you were born on the 31st of uh, for May um, in the month of uh, uh, July August September money is going to be good for a lot of you month of September money is going to be good for you if you were born on um, uh, the third because you have uh, yeah on the third money is going to be good for you in September October November and December December a lot of you could be getting married or at December a, lot, a, a new contract is going to be offered to a lot of you all right tick 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 need time some sort of a task a time is over a cycle time to heal a progress so it is time it's as if it's time for you guys to get married it's time to uh, connect with the right people the right situation the clock is ticking out your biological clock could be ticking it is time a whole lot of money ten of Pentacles this is going to be absolutely fantastic you guys are going to be really happy money is going to be really positive in this year remember each and every month you clear karmas with other people okay so um whoever you were born you're you're working through all of these energies all of these energies all the role you're working through all of these energies until you get back um to um the next zodiac here all right so the message for you guys is palm tree love paradise uh, not enough for chasing healing heart and the clock is ticking so what we're seeing is that 
a lot of you are going to be taking back your life and empowered yourself and find happiness and joy in your world some of you you're going to be feeling that something is not enough and some of you are going to stop chasing after a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person I recognize that I can't I can't I can't chase after you anymore if you don't feel the love and you're not feeling it for me that is okay let me let this go all right and then you're going to be just accepting um, that it's not working out I do love you guys namaste until next time